So the northwest is actually a very warm and hot place. However, it also rains quite a bit, which helps in cooling down the weather in most days, which I love. So today is just one of those mornings. And yeah, I start my morning with a cup of coffee every single morning or most mornings. Probably 95% of my mornings I need some coffee. So yeah. All right, so here I'm just making some breakfast for the kids. Hubby made um, soft porridge, which is also known as isdudu, kestkosa, and then motoho, kastwana. And yeah, my kids like it with a little bit of butter and sugar. And you know, they always say I make it with some love, which is true because they said nobody makes it like mommy does. And I actually really enjoy preparing it for them because I know they like it how they like how I make it. Guys, I am a coffee girl, like through and through. Those who know me, those who follow me on social media, coffee is my thing, okay? So I love everything about it. I love that when you wake up in the morning, it makes the house smell so good. It makes the house feel cozy and warm. And it just makes me feel good, to be honest. I don't know if it's just a mental thing or what it is about coffee, but I need a cup of coffee to start my day you know so anyway i drank about two to three cups of coffee almost every day um and i use mild because i've got a sensitive um tummy so i use the strength mild and then i'll do four and a half scoops maybe if i'm going to be having two mugs of coffee and then just put two cups worth of water in there once it's done i'll let it sit and brew for a little bit yeah, and then when it comes to sugar, I do two and a half, two, depending on how big the cup is, I guess, on that day. But I don't like it too sweet either. So I'll also just use a uh, surf, surf, is it called a surf, guys? <laughs> yeah so i'll just use that to make sure that there's no small little granules in the coffee i want it smooth yummy and delicious you know so guys believe it or not i'm actually lactose intolerant but i cannot drink coffee without milk like I cannot drink black coffee I, I don't like the taste so even though I do get really bad stomach cramps after I've drank um, anything with dairy or eaten anything with dairy it is a sacrifice I'm willing to make guys I love coffee <laughs> okay so I'm actually going to I'm in an uber today I'm going to Matlasana Mall I'm super late um there has been load shedding for like hours and hours literally yesterday it was thursday and the electricity left from 10 o'clock to like four o'clock that's how long it takes so this morning again unexpected load shedding i have a meeting now in the next um eight minutes and my laptop died i can't work I don't know when it's coming back because it left at nine which is a very awkward and random time for load shedding so i thought let me just get ready quickly rush to matlasana mall see if i can't find a restaurant to work from and be able to also um, attend my meeting so yeah that's my day today we are also traveling but i'll tell you guys about it later let me just get to to this meeting
restaurant, but the time is 13.24, so I'm officially on leave, that's why I'm actually having my cocktail. But anyway, I'm officially on leave. Um, I was actually, my leave started at 12 o'clock, but I had a bit of a crisis at work that I needed to sort out, so that's what I was trying to figure out. So now I am officially on leave, but I'm just going to be catching up on a few emails um, before I leave. Guys, so the time is about three o'clock. We're very late. We're going to Chakole village. I'm gonna go see my village people. I'm so excited. We're gonna see friends and family. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm not looking forward to the long drive. It's about another 200 and something case from Flagstop. But I'm gonna go see my grandma. I'm gonna go see my grandparents' resting place, visited, you know, blessings for 2023. I'm excited and yeah i'm gonna bring you guys along we're gonna be slaughtering i decided to cut my long nails because shem we're not trying to go there with long claws i already broke a nail yesterday and i was just worried about the pain because it was bleeding so i'm like if i go and cook outside with long nails what are the chances of it not breaking again and it's gonna be so painful so let me just cut them off um yeah so i'm excited i'm gonna bring you guys along and show you guys my hood my village my village my village i'm excited Hello. Hello. Say hi. I'm with my nieces, girl. I'm with Jennifer. my family. Jennifer. 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 Let's go after my... Hey, the first time I saw it was yesterday. Don't worry, baby. Watch it. Is it hot? Let me pick you up. It's hot. No. Sorry, let's just hurry up. Let's just hurry up. It's hot. Fita, fita, fita. That's what happens when you don't want to wear shoes. Hey, but go. Because Shem Rago. Hey, good morning, guys. So today is Christmas Eve. It is the 24th of December. We are at my grandfather and my grandmother's place. So we are going to go to the graveyard just to get the blessings. And yeah, we're here with family. So we'll see you guys later on. Hi guys, what's the time? I think half past 
32 minutes past seven. Half past seven in the morning. We have just come back um, to say hi to our people, my grandparents, the loves of my life. And I'm so happy that I went to go see them. It gives me so much peace and just so much joy. I be, just being here, you know, at home is amazing. So, yeah, I'm going to show you guys the rest of the day. It's going to be a busy day. My brother, my older brother is here. My cousins are here. Our aunts are here. My mom, my dad. So we are going to be cooking. We're just going to be busy. We're just going to be busy. Lana, say hi. Yes, I think Lala's feeling a little bit of emotional attachment. Um, my daughter is actually very sentimental. She wants to understand, you know, how are the grandparents sleeping? Like she's just trying to understand the process and I'm trying to explain it as child friendly as possible to say, this is what happens. We exist, we live, but there's a time where we pass and we go to heaven and yeah our bodies are laid to rest but our spirits live on in our hearts or the yeah the soul lives on in our hearts and you know in heaven so um there's nothing to be said about today is literally a day that needs to be celebrated um we are happy with family i'm sure my grandparents are happy that we're here at their house um so it's a good day today today's gonna be a good day Amasha says my outfit is not the one, guys. It's not given. She says it's not giving vibes. I didn't like, say vibes. vibes. I said it's not given. <laughs> guys, like in the village, nobody cares. Like it's not a fashion show. Like no, no, we're no, no, no. just dressed no, to be no. comfortable and respectful of car. <laughs> so later on, we'll probably take a bath and yeah, cute. look cute in Yana, but not too fancy. I will. We still have to be practical. <laughs>
Jesus.